Oh, hey, hi, uh, we're here in the kitchen. It's 6 p.m. Sierra's been making some momofuku noodles. She's fallen in love with, would you try, you tried the spicy soy? And soy and scallion. Soy and scallion, which you already had that one. That was the first one you had, yeah. right? So she's combining okay. them, she's yeah. mixing them. Um, and I am making a hoagie. I brought some bread rolls home uh, last week from work and um, pretty much all the leftovers from when I made hoagies, was that two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Um, so I've got some uh, prosciutto and some spicy capricola and the, the rolls. I had to go buy some salami and provolone yesterday. And of course I've got all the other fixings, a little bit of the dressing left, a little bit of pepperoncinis, like a little bit of everything left. So I have, I have the essentials. The only thing I'm missing, I think, ironically, is a tomato. I don't think I have any tomatoes. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I have onion, I have lettuce but I think I'm all out of tomatoes. It's because I used them all this weekend for, oh no, there's one right here, boom. Oh. One left, look at that, right in front of Sierra's face. It's a little on the, it's a little on the old side. So I'll we'll, we'll do a couple slices and I should be good to go. But anyway, that's what we're doing. order in for the night um, kind of wasn't a funk all day which is probably why I didn't vlog a lot um, for no particular reason just one of those days and I'm, I was telling Tiffany I've been trying to like pay attention and track like when it happens how often it happens and if there's any particular patterns to it and the only thing I can think of is it's middle of the week Wednesdays last week it was Thursday but today, nothing that I can think of really triggered me. It just, I just was in this mellow, calm mood, but irritable. So maybe something so small that I can't even put my finger on irritated me. But then like all day, little things just kind of like, anyway, um, got home and talked to Tiffany and Sierra a little bit about it. And Sierra's, watching, re-watching Supernatural. She's a big, like, re-watcher of shows. She's watched Glee a thousand times. She has, like, you know, maybe 10 shows that she just watches on repeat. She'll watch from start to finish a whole se uh, uh, series and then go to the next one. And so, like, she just finished Jane the Virgin, but, like, Glee, Once Upon a Time, um, Grimm, she has this handful of shows that she just watches and she's watching Supernatural. It's 15 seasons and she really wants me to finish the last two seasons. Um, it's actually a show that I used to like watch back when it was Netflix was still on DVDs. Um, she got into it, but I never finished the show. Uh, in fact, we started talking about TV in general and how there's a handful of shows that I've never finished that I enjoy. I, I liked the shows. I just never finished them. And it's like, I've talked about this before on the blog. Like I don't really watch TV at all. There's no shows that interest me enough to watch. Now I, there have been, like I have watched some shows. Um, and there's shows I can think of like right off the top of my head, like that I loved. Uh, but just, I'm not a big TV show watcher for whatever reason. 
um, a more movie guy. And I, and I told T Sierra, I said, the only thing I think of is it just, it's one of those things where it's like a movie I know that I, when I sit down, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna watch the whole thing. Whereas a TV show, you know, some are eight, nine, 10 episodes, some are 20, 25 episodes. So it's like this long-term investment, which it's almost like it turns me off knowing that, like I just watched one episode of a show, I'm rewatching. The conversation that we had made me go, okay, I should go back and just start rewatching these shows and finish them to completion. So I started one. I'm, I started watching Altered Carbon because I just love cyberpunk and I love that that time period and and, and um, you know the futuristic sci-fi. So and I know the first season's great, second season sucks, and there's an animated series uh, season. But I, it's almost like I don't care. Like uh, like the cyberpunk anime that was on Netflix, loved it. One season, knew it was only one season, but I loved it. And so I feel like kind of altered the coverage. Like I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch the whole, you know, first second, first season, second season, and I'll watch the animated season, and then the end of it, and I'm gonna go on to the next one. Um, but Sierra made a good point. If I just pick a pick a show, and every night just watch one episode, like if I was gonna watch a movie, and you just it'll just be one of those things where just it, I'll build a, a habit, you know, a routine. So altered carbon was the first thing I put to my head, and that's what I started. So. Um, Never finished it, so we're gonna finish it. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my shopping, but it's gonna be a busy day, and uh, I'm gonna try my best, try my hardest to get out of there at a decent time so that I can come home and go to the gym and maybe, I don't know, do something fun. I feel like that's, I need something fun. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, good days, bad days. I share them all the same. So here's to another one.